after the alleged suicide of her priest brother. Grace travels to the remote Scottish convent where he fell to his death. Distrusting the church's account, she uncovers murder, sacrilege, and a disturbing truth about herself. This movie is decent in terms of creating an unsettling atmosphere. The visuals and general mood evokes the feeling of depression. The movie also starts promising with its intriguing opening scene. Unfortunately, the journey to reach that point in the opening scene is much more cliché and beholden to tropes of the religious horror subgenre. Despite its obvious aesthetic appeal, this movie covers well-trodden ground for the horror genre. It's the latest film to use spiritual peril to frighten its audience, however, it fails to create a terrifying film. There's the sheer lack of terror found throughout this movie. There are few moments of spooky characters appearing right behind Grace, which are chilling at first, but the movie employs this technique so often that it loses its power. The script covers a lot of ground in quite a short run time. It's a lot to throw at the audience and all these heavy topics are not enough to make up for the film's lack of genuine scares. This movie is a mix of horror, mystery, and thriller, bouncing from one to the next, sometimes within the same scene. The script overstuffs the movie with ideas it cannot fully develop. The narrative doesn't fully take advantage of its more sinister ideas either. There's this shaky feeling about the setting and the character. Rather than offer context about Grace's past or the convent's history at the outset, the script doles it out incidentally and when convenient. Grace believes very little of what she's told, but the movie has her suffer so many disorienting visions that it's almost impossible to view her as a reliable protagonist. Even the flashbacks go from scarily intense to exaggerated and phony. Some of its plot points landing clunkily and its bombshells arriving without requisite setup. It's also not saying much about organized religion, family, or sibling relationships. There are a few surprises which are not particularly effective considering that early clues suggest only one possible twist and the proceedings do little to mask it. Overall, it's not really worth your time to watch this. We do not recommend this movie at all.